the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Hey everybody, I hope you're back. Have you checked your fruit today? Have you checked out your fruit today? What fruit are you bearing today? Did you focus on that love? Huh? Have you been working on your love to your fellow man? Huh? Have you been using the strength, full of strength from God to the joy of the Lord? Have you focused on that? Hey, have you recognized the peace that surpasses all his understanding comes from him, not through you? Not through the world, not based on your conditions, but based on Him. Have you checked your fruits today? I want to remind you, I feel led to remind you, check your fruit. If you're not bearing fruit, then you need to go to the root, which is Jesus Christ. That's how I look at it. Have you checked your fruits today? Have you checked? Here's the scriptures here, and we remind ourselves what fruit we're talking about. Just in case some of you don't know, that's okay. It's okay. Galatians 5, 22 to 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, which means patience, gentleness, goodness, faith, which means faithfulness, meekness, temperance, against such, temperance means self-control, against such there is no law. Have you checked your fruit today? I want to remind you, what, is your, what fruits are you bearing? Huh? Are you bearing those characteristics of the Spirit? Are you allowing the Holy Spirit to be the one that guides you and nurture you and bring you up? That's, that's what it's about, about as far as checking your fruit. And you know, most people need long suffering, needs patience. We need patience with ourselves, we need patience with our fellow man. We need patience in life. And that's 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 the challenge. I think that's why a lot of kids you may have seen with people when you go to service and stuff, we don't focus on some of the things, but we should always remind ourselves, look, we're conforming to the image of God. If we're gonna to conform to the image of God, then we need to bear the fruit of the Spirit. Allowing the Holy Spirit to allow his characteristics to be manifest in life. We need to cultivate daily fruits of the Spirit because that's how we can make it through life. If we sit there and have patience, and many of you don't like, you don't like being around people that's impatient. You know, it just, it just brings an instability, right? But let's look at the scripture that deals with patience or long suffering. And, and let's focus, it's important for us to, to say focus. It says right here in James, look at this, James 1, uh, verse two through seven. My brothers, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, which we do. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. The trying of your faith. See, we ain't talking about religion. We're talking about your faith, your faithfulness in God and submitting to Him. But let patience have a perfect work, that you may be what? Perfect and entire, wanting nothing. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that giveth to all men liberally, and of greatest not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. For he that wavers is like a wave of the sea, driven by the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything from the Lord. So the point is, count on joy when you do got the different things in life that does challenge you, that does challenge your patience, that challenge your peace, that challenge your joy, that challenge your love. Those things coming. You know what they're coming for? They're trying to take your peace. They're trying to take your love. They're trying to take you or keep you from, from checking the fruits. Have you checked your fruits today? Have you checked on the fact that you are, that you don't have patience toward your fellow man? Then that's what you want to cultivate. That's what you want to work on. See, I think these type of things reminding you, have you checked your fruit today, is reminding you what you want to try to work on in your life. Because none of us arrive, but we need to know what to target 
See, you gonna have people to go to church services and still act like some crazy, angry, bitter person. You still got people sitting there walking around the Bible and still acting with some anger and, and bitterness. Some people come to church sucking on a lemon. Come out and go to work sucking on a lemon. Look like they're sucking on a lemon. Why? Because they're letting the world and the environments of the world, they're letting the conditions of this life be what controls them. Have you checked your food today to say, look, I don't want to be sucking on a lemon. I want to be sucking on life from God. Have you checked your food today? Are you patient toward one another? And that's what you want to strive for. You want to be a Christian? Strive and conform to the image of his son. His son is based on the characteristics. When the Holy Spirit came on the day of Pentecost, he brought those characteristics. He's the one that allows you to break those characteristics to be manifest in your life. When people see you, do they see these characteristics coming from you? And tell me, do you even like being around people that don't even demonstrate these characteristics? Do you want to be around somebody that's impatient? Do you want to be around somebody that don't have no joy or peace? No. Would you at least make if you loudly say to cultivate in your life when somebody asks you, well, you always seem to have to smile, you smile or you have joy. You say, because joy of the Lord is my strength. It's not me, it's not based on what I did, it's based on what you did. You seem to always have peace. Why? Because the Holy Spirit brings peace. He gives me peace that surpasses all understanding. That's what I rest on. That's what I say. It's not about me, it's about him. But that's what he brings into me. And that's what he can bring into you. You have you checked your fruits today. Are you cultivating the right things today? Check your fruit. Check your patience. Find out how to get patience. Patience is focusing and trusting in him. Amen. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll catch you next time. God bless. And remember, have you checked your fruit today?